Hey guys, Briar Creek Stables 56 here, and I forgot to show the colors of the ribbon, the leather, and the fleece, and the felt, and all that stuff in my tax sale trade video, so I'm going to show it now, and then I also have a few other uh, pieces of tack that I forgot to mention, and or forgot to show in the other video, so I will show you the tack first, and then I'll show you the colors. So first, I have a western bridle, and it has a bit piece, and you can tell me if you want a bit on the right or the left, and it all depends on if there's a hole in the mouth. This side does not have a hole for the bit, so you have to use some sticky wax. I mean, and you can also, this is without a nose band, you can tell me if you want a strap on the right or the left, and I'll have a buckle, and then you can tell me if you want them the split rein, if you want split reins, well, it will be split, split reins, but you have to tell me if you want them tied or not tied, and, you want, and I will make them pretty long, and I don't have any more of this leather color, so, you just tell me what side the bit's on, and I'll put it on that side, you have to use sticky wax to keep it on, next thing I have is a martingale, and it attaches with two jump rings, and this one is kind of small on this one, but it was my first one. So it attaches right there and attaches to the girth under the saddle. I mean, the girth on the saddle. So those are two more things to tap. And then I have some English stuff. Just one thing for English. It is a breastplate martingale. You can do just the breastplate or the breastplate martingale. And there's buckles on the side. They are completely adjustable. The buckle is not in one place. So if it comes off, you just slip it back on. And you can tighten it. And you put it, you attach it to the bridle. And there is not a clip or anything, it's just you slip it through the girth whenever you put it on. So that's the tack. I think that's all the tack. Yeah, that's all the tack. And now I'll show you the colors for ribbon and leather. So first I'll show you the leather. And I have a light brown. Like a medium brown, sorry. And then I have a tan. And then I have a chocolate brown. And I cannot make classic halters out of this because it's too thick. So, yeah, that's just the traditional halters and bridles. And then I have, for the Arabian halters, I have chain. And then for also the Arabian halters is these three colors. You can pick two colors or just one color. You tell me what you want the main color to be and what you want the non-main color to be. Now is the ribbon. I have uh, stuff for traditional and classic. All this can be used for traditional, but only from the purple to the green can be used for classic. So I have the green, white, navy blue, pink. It's kind of like a hot pink. And then a turquoise blue, red, and orange, yellow, baby blue, like a uh, darker on camera, but it's kind of bright, and then purple, and then for traditional only holders is gold, uh, like lavender purple, and then a kind of a baby blue turquoise-ish color, and then for if you want a blanket with a ribbon strap, these are the four colors I have, and it will be with a buckle. You can pick one to two colors, but just... You have to tell me which colors you want. And then for the fleece and the felt, I have a lot of it. I have a green fleece, a really light pink. It looks kind of white, but it's pink. And then a blue, it's like a blue zebra, orange with glitter, paint splatter. And then polka dot. This can be used for blankets. 
And then I have a lot of scraps here. And you can just, like, these would be for polo wraps, fly masks, and bareback pads. And there's a bunch of stuff. There's zigzag, another, there's, like, tie-dye, pink, black, like, some gray t-shirt material. And this could be used for polo wraps. And then I have, like, this orange. And if you see anything in here that you like, oh, and I have camo. And if you see anything in here that you like, just tell me and then tell me what you want it for.